Assalamu alaikum level 7 This is a problem from exercise 10b question 2 part a In this problem we have to find the missing angles the missing angles are a b c and d In this problem a b and c d are parallel lines through which two transverse cells are drawn PQ and RS so here according to our study we have to find the missing angles here students look at all these angles whether is there any relation between these angles here check first we have to find angle A that is there any other angle which is corresponding alternate interior or supplementary to A through which we can find the value of A here look at this angle angle A is alternate to angle 117 because at this point there are 4 angles 1, 2, 3 and 4 so if we count in sequence 1, 2, 3 and 4 1 and 3 are alternate angles which are also known as vertically opposite angles so according to our study we know that the vertical angle or alternate angles are equal so we write here angle A is equal to angle 117 because these are alternate angles clear we have found the value of A now we have to find value of angle B here these four angles on this tra transversal are interior angles so if we count in sequence these are 1, 2, 3 and 4 so as per property of the alternate angle A and B are alternate angles so we can say here that as angle B is equal to angle A because these are alternate and also interior angles that's why we can say that these both angles have same value so if the value of angle A is 117 that's why angle B also have value of 117 clear students we have found angle A and B now the time is for angle C here angle C is neither alternate nor corresponding to any angle but angle C and angle A are supplementary angles because these both are interior angles and also lie at the same side of the transversal that's why we say these two are supplementary angles and you know that supplementary angles are equal to 180 so here we write that angle A plus angle C are equal to angle 180 because these are interior angles which are supplementary interior angles which are supplementary clear now we put value of angle A in this formula angle A is equal to 117 that's why we replace with 117 plus we have to find angle C is equal to 180 now you know that in the algebraic equation when we move a value from one side of the equal to other side of the equal the value will become of opposite sign here 117 is of plus sign so if we move this value to other side of the equal it will become minus 
सो वी राइट इट एज एंगल सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल 180 माइनस एंगल 117. सो व्हेन वी सब्ट्रैक्ट 117 फ्रॉम 180, द आंसर विल बी 63. सो एंगल सी विल बी इक्वल टू एंगल 63. Clear? Now the remaining is angle D. Here angle D, we check that whether is there any other interior angle on the same transversal we can that can be alternate to D. There is no any other angle. So is there any angle which is supplementary to angle D that is interior? and at the same side of the transversal there is no any other angle here so there is an other angle that is 78 which is corresponding to angle d because these both angles lie at the same place of the figure because this is at the top of the parallel line and at the left of same transversal and angle d is also at the top of the parallel line and at the left of the same transversal that's why these both angles are corresponding angles and we know that the property of corresponding angles is the corresponding angles are equal so here we write angle d is equal to angle 78 because these are corresponding angles corresponding angles clear students we have found all the missing angles a b c and d so the problem is solved